I'm going to read out uh, little bits of whatever I felt when traveling to a few of these sites. And uh, this has been a life-changing experience for me. And uh, yeah, I'd like to start with uh, the quote. Travelers see, a traveler sees what he sees. A tourist sees what he has come to see. Gilbert K. Churston. Starting with Kajra, the soul of Kajra. I find, I found that the English word erotic, which people usually use to describe the temples of Kajra, is grossly demeaning and insulting to the true spirit of the builders of these magnificent temples. Mind, body, and soul. The essence of Kajra temples, for me, was a practical, pragmatic lesson that showed, that showed me how one can sensually, beautifully transcend, light up, and live all these three in liberating the inner soul of all the inhibitions and ultimately celebrating the temple that one's body is in attaining liberation. The architecture of Kajrao. It is the epitome of Northern Indian temple architecture. The architecture's form, design, Harmony, size, and rhythm stun you, and you have to drop your jaws in awe. It's a feeling that needs to be experienced, and that which just cannot be explained in words. One feeling that I strongly felt standing and walking around the Khandariya Mahadev is utter intimidation. The modern liberal man in me felt belittled by the pinnacles achieved by the Chandela's harmonious celebration of life through liberal art and iconic finis in architecture. From there I went to Konark. As you, uh, this is what I've written about the Konark temple. As you near the imposing black pagoda, the stories of the valorous ancient Kalingas and their strong women battalions that stood up to the Ashoka's brutal conquest came into perspective for me. I knew this was a medieval temple, yet glaring in my face was their glorious ancient past, which heralded them into pinnacles of their contemporary times, where by means of art and architecture, they gloriously bragged to the world once again of their triumphant advance. This time, not just through valor, but also through the undeniable ex exquisite finis of art chiseled and carved in stone for the ages to come. This was one heck of a monument, imposingly gigantic, <coughs> unfathomably artistic, and truly holistic in wisdom and approach to a good life that it speaks about. I'm referring to the chakras on the, the wheels of the temples which have a depictions of what an ideal life is. For me, this was a bodhi tree in stone that sheltered knowledge about how balance in life be struck in coherence with nature and our true intrinsic natures. Yep. Um, from there, I went to ja one, one of the other places was Jantar Mantar. This is not your usual Jap. I saw Jantar Mantar as a bridge between the cosmos and the culture of India. Standing next to the Virat Samrat Yantra, which is a giant sundial, and looking into the sky from above the stairs of the Virat Samrat Mantra, I had a ma magical feeling wanting to be on this machine that could aid you in ascending to the skies. The perfect calculations and machines that they built without any computers and modern GPSs was the culmination of the sheer genius of the human observation and intelligence to understand nature's physiology, pulse, and rhythm. Any concept thoroughly diagnosed is knowledge which can be used in perpetuity for the betterment of civilization, which is what the Rajputs took and scaled the heights that they did.
again talking about Hampi, now sadly ridiculed as Rayal Sima, which is the stone district, against the colloquial local saying, Rayal Sima, Ratnal Sima, walking the streets, alleys and structures of Hampi, unfolded to me the past grandeur, the benevolent love of the rulers for their subjects, and had me both mesmerized and hold my head in shame to walk dark, to what darkness of a nation we remain in the glorious light of our past. Humpy for me was an inspiration of that great and a just empire which we as a present nation need to live up to in building. I mean, a few other, uh, a very few things that uh, a few other things that I experienced when traveling were travel, this, uh, the UNESCO travel, I discovered the amount of perseverance in me. I played out my mind in a drama of how I could perceive whether I have, how I would perceive in a business if I had it. I related the perseverance there with, I related it with something real in my life. Every step ahead and adversity added to this play of mine and ultimately telling me that I will prevail. I told me that I'm not as meek as weak as a, or as, as I thought I was. I told me at times my humility and at times the courage to face this adversity is what will take me places and help me win hearts. And uh, yeah, I'm telling you about a funny uh, note. Should I really say that? <laughs> I was almost gas chambered in uh, <laughs> Gaia. <laughs> so my train was 29 and a half hours late in Gaia and I was waiting in this waiting room for 29 hours, not being able to sleep because there was no information and I didn't know when my train would come. And if I didn't wake up for that announcement, I'd lose my train and there were no other trains coming. So I waited up all night and at 4.30 in the morning, I don't, I don't have the picture, but 4.30 in the morning, the gentleman next to me, <laughs> I was in a closed room of about a hundred people. The gentleman next to me just got up and kind of like gasped me out. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, what the hell is happening? And then it started at 5 o'clock in the morning until 6.30. It almost felt like I was in a concentration camp. So that is like the long story short and uh, I'd like to end with a quote. 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you don't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bowlines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream and discover. Mark Twain. Uh, one of the reasons, one of the inspirations for me to travel was Anu. When I moved to Hyderabad, I was following Anu, Anuradha there, Anuradha Goyal, and uh, yeah, she came. She took me along with uh, for a couple of trips that we went around. Want to say something? Thank you. <laughs>